Bleh. Okay. One more time. Hi, I'm Jade, and today I'm going to walk you through an art meditative practice. Um, so a lot of people have a little bit of trouble when it comes to meditation. They find it a little bit challenging, particularly when they first start trying to practice it. And they forget that art is a really great way to meditate as well as the traditional form of meditation. So one of the best ways that art and meditation sort of intersect are through these things called mandalas. So a mandala is traditionally a circle and within that circle are these sort of intricate designs and shapes that are very symmetrical. You can find mandalas all over the world. You can find them in different cultures and you can find them in nature. If you're interested in learning a little bit more about them, I will post a couple of links so that you can delve deeper into that subject. Among those links will be a link to the mandalas of the Buddhist monks in Tibet and their practice inspires the meditative practice that we're going to do today. So what they do is they create these really elaborate designs and within that design is an intention or a purpose. After the intention or purpose has been decided upon, they fill in the design with this really colorful sand. Um, once the design is completely done, they sweep that sand up and then they pour it into a body of water that will eventually lead into the ocean. The belief is that with each grain of sand, the blessing and the intention and all the good vibes that the mandala was created for in the first place um, are given to the, anybody who got to watch the mandala be created and anywhere that the sand is dispersed by the water once it's poured in. Um, the second lesson is a lesson in non-attachment. So after this beautiful mandala has been created, they just let go. So it's a lesson in non-attachment and not holding on um, to things. So uh, that is the inspiration behind the meditative practice we're going to do today. We're going to create our version of a sand mandala. Now it's not going to be a mandala in this traditional sense of the uh, geometric shapes and whatnot. I do suggest you do a circle, but you can do whatever shape you want. This is the mandala that my family will be creating. So what you'll need to do this is a piece of white paper and on the front, you're going to draw your design out. Now, if you don't consider yourself to be terribly art savvy, you can Google blank coloring pages until you find something that suits your purpose for whatever your intention is for your particular mandala design. So on the front will be your design, whether you draw it or print it out. And on the back, write your intention out. Write what this means to you, what you hope to accomplish, just whatever you want the mandala to represent, write it on the back. So you'll need the white sheet of paper, you'll need a, pe a pencil to draw out your design or a printer to print out your design. You'll also need colored sand. So I got this off of Amazon. You get a bunch of little bags of colorful sand and all these different colors for about $20. Um, so you'll need that. Paper, sand, a spoon. If you have any little baby spoons from like when your kid was a baby, if you have a kid who was a baby, they work really well. You'll also need, you don't need paper cups, but it's helpful if you have paper cups that you can cut the tops off of so you can pour your sand in. It makes it more accessible and more convenient than trying to work from the bags. Also, you'll need a piece of paper that has like a card stock. Um, this is poster board that's been cut. You can also use a toilet paper roll and slit it down the middle and then cut it into squares. You need it to be business card shape-ish and you're gonna fold it and that's gonna be how you disperse your, your sand on your mandala. You're also, it would be helpful to have a little brush of some sort. So these are craft brushes, a flat and a round, and then this is a makeup brush. And so it's just to kind of help you smooth out the edges or, you know, it's a little bit of a cheat. So that is what you need, oh, in a workspace. You will need a workspace where that you can move around a little bit and uh, a workspace where maybe you can leave the sand there and it won't get bumped or destroyed or anything like that. So. That is what you will need and um